Hello once again drummers and percussionists. Welcome to another video on Roscoe's drumming. Today I wanted to talk about taking a relatively simple groove or pattern and then starting to add some other things to it like different subdivisions just to give it a little bit more spice. So let's start off with this pattern. So as it is, all the strokes in that pattern all fall into the same subdivision. They're sixteenth notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. On beat four, the second snare accent in the pattern, I'm going to replace that with four quick thirty-second notes. I'll show you what that sounds like. So to break that down a little bit, I'll play just the beat 4 of that pattern a lot slower. Alright, let's change it up a little bit more. We'll change some of those snare strokes to bass strokes. So now, let's drop that back into our groove. Okay, now let's add something similar to beat 2 of the pattern, and then we've morphed it all into something else completely. So with all that together, let's have a bit of fun interchanging sixteenths and thirty seconds into our grooves. And that's where I'm going to end it for this week. Next week we'll be doing something similar, but we'll use some triplets. So to conclude this video, I'll just say that interchanging our subdivisions in the middle of the groove like that is a good way to add some extra textures and dynamics to our playing. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and leave a comment. If you're a social drummer and you want to come and say hello, I'm on the social networks, there's links in the descriptions for Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. Finally, if you're new to the videos and you want to keep up to date with every new video that I release, you can always subscribe to the channel. That's it for now, I'll see you on the next video.